Well, several states are in play that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate when the new Congress starts in January. Republicans want to flip Montana, where the Native American vote could have a major impact on the outcome. The state also has an abortion initiative on the ballot. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more on that. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. Yes, let's start in Montana's tribal vote. In the 1992 election, the Democrat beat the Republican largely due to a heavy Native American turnout. Why? A challenge was made between two leading tribes for a single buffalo. But in the election just four years ago, the tribal vote was dismal. Well, today, both candidates are courting Native American voters and believe that they could be the key to winning. Montana is a small state, only two congressional districts, and they have a significant voting block of Native Americans. Political experts say Native Americans are always an important voting block in Montana, where they make up 6.5% of the population. But this November, their involvement could potentially impact the entire nation. Control know, of the U.S. Senate may hang on the outcome of Montana's Senate race, where Democratic Senator John Tester is up for re-election. He's facing off against Republican Tim Sheehy, whom former President Donald Trump has in Endorsed. Polls have Sheehy narrowly leading Tester in the home stretch, 50 to 46 percent. This year, an abortion amendment is also on the ballot. Currently, abortion in Montana is legal until fetal viability. I want to see Roe reinstated. And I think this initiative, this ballot initiative that's going to be on the ballot, will do exactly that. It will enshrine it into the Constitution so that women can make their own health care decisions. If the people of Montana vote for it and it passes, then it's the law of the land. Um, but what the Democrats have been pushing is, quite frankly, the most extreme abortion legislation in the world. Uh, and I'll not apologize for wanting to protect the life of an unborn child. Montana's Catholic leaders say the way the abortion initiative is worded would allow the state to regulate abortion after fetal viability, except when, quote, medically indicated to protect the life or health of the pregnant patient, opens the door to late-term abortions. They try to convey that this is only going to, to be uh, for pre-viability abortions, the reality is the standard that one would have to meet to uphold a restriction post-viability is so outrageous that this will allow abortion through all nine months. All the bishops in Montana even signed a letter urging Catholics in the state to defeat the amendment. They say that it would cause pain for the unborn. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.